What up guys, this is Herman, your number one self-proclaimed AI girlfriend expert. I have been making a lot of videos about Candy AI, so I figured I might as well just make a full Candy AI tutorial and just explain all the nooks and crannies of these tools, including how to subscribe, how to use the image generator, how to create characters, how to roleplay, and some additional features of Candy AI. So yeah, pretty excited. Let's dive right in. So if you want to know how to use Candy AI, you do need to subscribe because the free plan only allows you to send like 50 messages. So what you can do, you can either just press this button here or on the left, you'll see become premium. So you click there and you can either subscribe for $12.99 a month or $5.99 if you pay annually. So that's uh, yeah, pretty affordable if you ask me compared to the other apps. They offer full billing discretion. It's completely anonymous and it's safe to pay. I actually did a video about that. So be sure to check it out. It should show up in your screen right now. Yeah, once you've subscribed, we can dive into all the other features of Candy AI. So let's start with one of the most popular features, learning how to create your own AI girlfriend on Candy AI. If you look at the left side of my screen, you'll see this button and it says create character. So we're gonna click on that. This will give us the first screen, which allows you to choose from a anime style girlfriend or a realistic one. And basically the first three screens you'll see has to do with the physical appearance of your AI girlfriend. This is pure cosmetics and will influence the image generator, which we'll talk about later, but it doesn't influence how she talks to you. So that's just something to keep in mind. The fourth screen you'll see is actually the personality. And it's good to think a bit about this because this will determine like how your AI girlfriend talks to you and interacts with you. And once you've chosen this, you cannot change it anymore. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind. Next up, you can choose the voice. You can pick from nine different voices. This is important for generating voice messages and AI girlfriend phone calls, which we will talk later about. After that, you can choose the occupation and hobbies. What I noticed from personal experience is that if you choose a occupation and let's say the occupation is like a soldier, then there's a good chance that if you generate images, your AI girlfriend will send you pictures in a green uniform or if even if you ask like pictures in, I don't know, a bikini or something or swimwear, then even that will be green. So that's also something you want to keep in mind. You can choose from three hobbies and one occupation. Next up, you can choose the relationship status. So let's say you don't want an AI girlfriend, but actually want more companionship. Then they also got you covered with things like a schoolmate or mentor or friend or even best friend. So that's just something really interesting. The last thing you can pick is the clothing style. Although you can generate images of different outfits of your AI girlfriend. This will determine what the initial outfit of your AI girlfriend will look like and also what the default outfit will look like. So let's try police. Lastly, you get a short summary and you can press bring my AI to life. And there we go. Don't forget to change the name of your AI girlfriend. You can only pick a name once. Don't forget to do it. Otherwise you're just stuck with the name they give you by default. So the next thing I want to cover in this Candy AI tutorial is how to create images. Before I do that, I just want you to know, I recently did an article, it's called 10 plus Candy AI tips and tricks. And I dropped some real hidden gems on how to use the image generator without wasting a bunch of money because these things cost two tokens per image. So be sure to check it out and I'll leave the link in the description. Yeah, let's get right to it. The first thing you'll have to do is either create a new character. So that brings you to the screen I previously showed you or choose an existing character. An existing character can be one that you created or one from their library. So we're gonna select the character I created a while ago and click on select. And this is the most important part. It's called the prompt. So you just type in whatever you want to see. This could be anything. What I like to do is I like to choose one of their existing prompts. So can the AI put some example prompts below our field? So we're just gonna select one, let's say out for dinner, and we're gonna tweak that a bit. Instead of sitting at the dinner table, I can say like standing in front of the dinner table in a fancy restaurant at night with dim lights, red lipstick. Boom. So that's basically it, guys. You have some more suggestions here just to get your creative juices flowing. Just make sure you don't conflict anything because if you say something like wearing a skirt and wearing jeans, then it's probably not gonna work. Just something to keep in mind. Lastly, you need to select how many images you want to generate. Like I said, it costs two tokens per image. If you generate 16, it will cost you 32 tokens. Let's try that. And there we go, guys. So yeah, it's pretty cool. They all look unique, but they're also different. 
different, if you know what I mean. So that's just really cool about Candy AI. So the next thing we're gonna cover in this how to use Candy AI video is how to role play and just all the interactions you can do. Every conversation starts with a chat message and you can just hit the suggestion just to get the conversation going. What you'll notice is that every text bubble will have like this icon here. So you can also play the messages if you don't want to read them. Well, I was just wondering if you wanted to grab some lunch or maybe go see a movie later tonight. I love exploring new places and trying out different cuisines. Plus, who knows where our conversation might take us? So what do you say? Are you up for some fun? So that's just a nice touch. I think the voice messages sound very realistic. Another thing you can do is you can actually ask for pictures during roleplay or texting. So you can hit this button and then you'll see four commands. Can I see, send, send me, and show me? You can basically ask for anything. So I can say like, show me a picture of you in a busy street. And then she should send me exactly that. And there we go. One thing to keep in mind, especially if you're not a native English speaker like me, is that you often use like, show me, but in a different context, and you don't actually want that picture, but you just want her to, if you say, say like, show me what you like to do in the weekend, then she will send you a picture because you use this combination. So what you can do, you can add an extra space and she should reply with a text message and not with a photo right now. There we go. Another thing you can do, what I like to do is you can actually role play. So whenever things get boring or anything, or you just want something cool, then you just say like, hey, can we role play something? And then you'll say something like, you can decide a fantasy scenario, or you can come up with something on your own. And then, yeah, this can go pretty far into any direction that you want. So the last feature of Candy AI I want to cover in this Candy AI tutorial is the phone calls. And they just released this. They only got four AI characters you can call right now so not that much but i think they'll be improving this really fast the way it works is that you just go to a character that's available for phone calls you click on this icon you enter your number and she will give you a call so keep in mind that this will cost you three tokens per minute and also keep in mind that if you ask like complicated long questions then it will probably take some time for your ai girlfriend to respond so it's good to keep things short and to the point but yeah overall it's very realistic and it's definitely fun to do you should definitely check it out so one last thing i forgot to mention in this candy ai walkthrough is that they actually have a gallery so if you hit gallery in the navigation on the left then you'll see that all the pictures we've been generating so far they get added to the gallery and they get categorized so you can just take a look at them download them whatever Ever put them on your fridge and yeah it's just fun because you'll never lose a picture so that's it for today guys i hope you like my video on how to use candy ai if you want to read my full article where i put more pictures and more details then check it out i'll leave the link in the description and yeah smash the like button please subscribe to my channel i'll talk to you guys soon